This is the Bill Conch Biometric Safe. Just because it gets a good rating on Amazon doesn't mean it's a good buy. The safe has the worst biometric scanner I've tested yet. The automatic opening lid works, then stops working, then starts working again. Hmm. And now to the worst thing I discovered. When you press down on the right side of the lid to shut the safe, it gives you a false locking of the safe. A gentle touch by your hand uh -oh. can trigger the automatic lid or semi-automatic lid to open. And the app is a connection oh nightmare. God. The safe gets a huge fail. Die. If you're looking for a biometric pistol dispenser, then the RPMB is worth a look. This is the perfect product that bridges the gap between a real storage type safe and then with the RPMB, being able to place your firearm as physically close to you as possible and quickly dispense your pistol when the need arises. Three ways of entry, digital number pad, fingerprint, or with these barrel keys. Perfect for keeping untrained animals or children from your firearm, but not really a safe for keeping out a thief. If you need more safing, get a Fort Knox or V-Line, and if you need a small biometric safe, then vault is the best choice if you can afford it. What's important is that the biometrics work and the product opens and closes 100% of the time. With my moisture test, it got a marginal score, almost a fail really. But with the powder test, it loved the white stuff and got an easy pass, it might be my powder champion. You can store up to 50 fingerprints. It was even recommended to scan the same fingerprint many times for better performance by the manufacturer. The safe did open and close 100% of the time and was bug free in normal operation. If you need a biometric gun dispenser and only intend it for that role, then the RPMB gets a marginal pass from us. If you want a biometric safe with every possible combination of entry, then the Sifley safe is your safe. You can open it with a fingerprint scan, digital keypad, RFID card, or through your smartphone. And also don't forget the good old fashioned analog key. But if that's not good enough for you, you can get this sold separate button key fob, or if you want voice activation, you can get this little white box, and then you can yell at Alexa to open the safe for you. Now during my test, I confirmed the lid is 11 gauge still, as you can see here. They say the lid is drill proof, so if it's really drill proof, then that means it's hard and still. So I tested the lid with this cheap $2,200 UCI tester just to see how hard it is. The finish is very hard coming at 65 Rockwell hardness, but still the finish easily dremels off and the bare metal comes in at 45 HRC. Yes, it's hard and still, as hard as your Colt 1911 that is. Be forewarned, the safe is 100% programmed through your smartphone. Good news is it's always quick to connect to Bluetooth and it's super easy to reprogram the safe through the app. When it comes to the wet and powder test, it was not the best performer and I barely gave it a pass and my conscience is still bugging me on that. Sifley states it opens in 3 tenths of a second, but in reality it comes in at 1 second flat. And now onto the bad news, the safe has bugs. Not those bugs, but these bugs. And I'll show you live right here what just happened. One time I went to open it. Unlocked. And there you go. It did exactly that. You put the lid down, it didn't latch it. And I had to cycle the save like this. Unlocked. And then I was able to lock it. Uh, now the uh, other issue, hold on. Maybe I just, I didn't give enough time. So here we go. Unlocked. I should have asked you. Unlocked. The Sifley safe gets a marginal ready from us. It's still a million times better than that Bill Conch safe, and in the end, that's all that really matters. If you need a biometric safe that can fit four pistols, then the X-Deer is worth a look. I was able to store eight pistols in the X-Deer if you're willing to double stack, so there's plenty of storage options. There are three ways of entry. First, with the biometric scanner. With my test, it opened the safe in a good one second flat. Also has backlit digital number pad and comes with these backup keys. Features an interior LED light and the option to power the safe with four AAA batteries or use the supplied power adapter for a permanent powering option. The X-Deer is highly sensitive to my moisture test, and as you can see here, didn't do so well. It did pass one time. It did fare better with the powder test, but was still not great and received a marginal score for the powder test. The good news is the exterior performed flawlessly under normal operating conditions, pretty much a zero bug free safe. The biometric sensor is on the smaller side and sometimes can misplace your finger and get the red light of no entry. If you need a more storage type safe for up to eight pistols, I would recommend the exterior. Would it be my go-to defensive safe? No. Overall, it gets a marginal rating from us. The All Safe is the fastest biometric safe we've ever tested. It only took 4 tenths of a second to unlock the safe. Its gas strut was on the slower side, as you can see here, and the lid doesn't open even close to Century 79 degrees of opening. But All Safe is still the king when it comes to the biometric scanner time. When you first pull the All Safe from the box, it feels lighter than the 10 pounds that All Safe states, and the scale never lies as the All Safe comes in at just 8 pounds. Three ways of entry, fingerprint, digital number pad, or with these two keys. Now onto the wet and powder test. The all safe biometric scanner is super sensitive to the wet test as you can see here. Even with multiple scans of the same fingerprint, it failed the wet test. It did fare better with the powder test. 
so it all gets a marginal rating from these tests. In normal operation, the all safe did run bug free. These would make a good storage safe or one to keep the kids away from your firearms. This is not my go to bump of the night type of safe, it's more of my storage safe, so it gets a marginal plus from us. If you're looking for a reliable mid-tier safe with a solid build, then the Sentry Biometric Safe has been a flawless performer. Coming in at 12 pounds with a thick 12 gauge steel lid, we love its powerful gas strut and you will find yourself using it as a makeshift catapult. There are three ways of entry starting with a biometric finger scanner, digital number pad, or good old fashioned keys. The biometric scanner is on the small side and you will have to place your finger precisely or risk a red light of no entry. But if you do, the biometric scanner opens in one second flat. One other thing besides the small scanner size is the limit of only 10 fingerprints. Fortunately, it's a good quality scanner and works well with only one print. Some other safes need multiple scans of the same finger for better performance, but that's not the case with the Sentry safe. When it comes to my wet and powder test, it performed well and it got a pass from us. It's not the best performer, but good enough. With all my testing, lots of opening and closing, it's performed 100%. If you want a good biometric safe you can count on, then this Sentry Safe is a good performer that also offers good protection for its price point. The Sentry Safe is part of our long-term testing project and gets a pass from us.